El Servicio Nacional de Meteorología en Brownfield tiene emitido una inundación de destello aviso para el condado de Cameron Central del Sur en Texas del Sur Profundo, hasta 1015 CDT. En el 923 CDT, un empleado de NWS divulgaron las tempestades de truenos producir heavy rain a través del área advertida. Entre el 1 y los 3 avanza lentamente de llueva han caído. La tarifa prevista de la precipitación es 1 a las pulgadas del 2 en el 1 hora. El inundar de destello es en curso o esperado comenzar pronto. Peligro, el inundar de destello causado por tempestades de truenos. La fuente, empleado de NWS divulgó. Impacto, el inundar del flash de pequeñas calas y corrientes, zonas urbanas, carreteras, calles y pasos inferiores así como el otro drenaje pobre y punto bajo áreas de mentira. Algunas ubicaciones que experimentarán inundar de destello incluya, Brownsville South Most, Céntrico, Brownsville, Lincoln Park, Rama South Most de la Biblioteca Pública de Brownsville, Brownsville del Norte Poco Liga, Escuela Secundaria de Perkins, Escuela Primaria South Most, Faul, Escuela Secundaria, Aeropuerto Internacional de la Isla del Sur del Capellán de Brownsville, J. T. Escuela Primaria de Canales, Escuela Primaria de González, Estación 6, Veteranos del Cuerpo de Bomberos de Brownsville Internacionales Puente, Escuela Primaria de Longoria, Escuela Secundaria de Besteiro, El Jardín Escuela Primaria, Escuela Secundaria de Hanna, Escuela Secundaria de López y Cameron Tribunal del Condado. Empleado de NWS divulgado fuera de carriles de la carretera 48 en Brownsville fueron cubiertos en pulgadas de los seis o más de agua. The National Weather Service in League City has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Galveston County in southeastern Texas, southeastern Brazoria County in southeastern Texas, eastern Matagoda County in southeastern Texas, until 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 9.27 a.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Freeport, moving north at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Galveston Island West End, Lake Jackson, Angleton, Freeport, Clute, Hitchcock, Surfside Beach, Richwood, Brazoria, Jones Creek, Danbury, Oyster Creek, Bailey's Prairie, San Luis Pass and Eastern Wild Peach Village. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. As Service in League City has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Western Galveston County in southeastern Texas until 10.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 9.48 a.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Jamaica Beach or near Galveston Island West End, moving north at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Southeastern League City, Galveston Island West End, Galveston Causeway, Texas City, Dickinson, La Mark, Santa Fe, Hitchcock, Galveston Pier 21, Bayou Vista, Jamaica Beach, Tiki Island, Pelican Island, Galveston State Park, San Leon, Backliff, Schlitterbahn, Skulls Field, The Strand and Ofat Bayou. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Port. Service in League City has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for 
southwestern Galveston County in southeastern Texas, east central Brazoria County in southeastern Texas, until 10.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 9.58 a.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Liverpool, or near Santa Fe, moving north at 50 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Galveston Island West End, Alvin, Santa Fe, Hitchcock, Danbury, Hillcrest, Liverpool and Chocolate Vale. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Jeans, 
in yellow and purple shoes. They were last seen in an unknown make or model red passenger car in the Pebble Bay area of Fayetteville, North Carolina, traveling to an unknown destination. If you have any information regarding this abduction, call Fayetteville Police Department immediately at 910-433-1802 or call 911 or Star HP for the hour patrol. This is a North Carolina Amber Alert. Warning in effect until 6.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. What small stream flooding caused by excessive rainfall is expected? Where? A portion of southwest Virginia, including the following counties, Giles and Pulaski. When? Until 6.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time today. Impacts, flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone locations is imminent or occurring. Streams continue to rise due to excess runoff from earlier rainfall. Low water crossings are inundated with water and may not be passable. Additional details, at 12.28 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, between 2.0 and 4.0 inches of rain fell across much of the region during the past 24 hours. This has resulted in excessive runoff of rainfall into area creeks, streams, and rivers. Minor flooding is occurring along the Walker Creek at Bain and throughout the region along the creek and its tributaries. At 12.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this afternoon, Walker Creek at Bain had risen to the flood stage of 11.0 feet and was still rising. The river could rise to 12.0 feet through the afternoon. Flooding along this portion of the river and along other sections of the river and its tributaries will likely continue into the evening hours. This includes the following streams and drainages, Sugar Run, Back Creek, Stony Creek, Sinking Creek, Little Stony Creek, Rassipath Branch, Cecil Branch, New River, Dry Branch, Little Walker Creek, and Broad Hollow Creek. Some locations that will experience flooding include Parisburg, Pembroke, Poplar Hill, Bain, Eggles. Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 269, effective until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. This watch includes the following counties in Texas, Bell, Bosque, Coriel, Hill, and McLennan. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Here in County in West Central Texas, until 3.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 3.02 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 17 miles west of Arden, moving northeast at 20 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour in gusts and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of northwestern Tom Green and northern Erie counties. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. National Weather Service in San Angelo has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for 
Western Cope County in West Central Texas, Eastern Sterling County in West Central Texas, Northwestern Tom Green County in West Central Texas, until 4.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 3.20 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 15 miles southwest of Broome, moving northeast at 45 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles an hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near Sterling City and Broome around 3.40 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by the severe thunderstorm include us 87 near the Coke Tom Green County line. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The mouth of the Pamlico River, moving east at 30 knots. Hazard, wind gusts to 40 knots and small hail. Source, radar. Impact, small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include Englehart, Artificial Reef 160, Pamlico Sound, Pea Island National Wildlife Refuge, and Rodanfi. Frequent lightning is occurring with these storms. If caught on the open water, stay below deck if possible. Keep away from ungrounded metal objects. p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 3. 34 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Micholeville, or 16 miles northeast of Preston, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near, making around 3, 40 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Brooksville around 3, 50 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Deerbrook around 3, 55 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Crawford around 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Columbus and Bent Oak around 4, 15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by the severe thunderstorm include Shukoilik and Artesia. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. National 
Auto Service in San Angelo has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Tom Green County in west central Texas, northeastern Erin County in west central Texas, until 4.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 4.02 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Tankersley, moving east at 35 miles an hour. This is a destructive storm for central Tom Green County. Hazard, baseball size hail and 60 miles an hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be severely injured. Expect shattered windows, extensive damage to roofs, siding, and vehicles. This severe thunderstorm will be near San Angelo State Park and Twin Buttes Reservoir around 4.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Lake Nassworthy and O.C. Fisher Reservoir around 4.20 p.m. Central Daylight Time. San Angelo around 4.25 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Goodfellow Air Force Base around 4.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Well, an area around 4.40 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Very best around 4.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by the severe thunderstorm included a 67 near the area in Tom Green County line. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Severe thunderstorm warning for Crisp County, Dooley County, and Sumter County, effective until 5.35 p.m. This is a statement from the National Weather Service. For the following county, St. Mary's, Maryland. Flood warning in effect until 11.15 p.m. this evening. Flooding due to excessive runoff from earlier rainfall. The areas affected include a portion of southern Maryland, including the following county, St. Mary's. The hazardous weather conditions are expected until 11.15 p.m. Tuesday. Impacts, flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone locations is imminent or occurring. Additional details, at 5.02 p.m., a gauge on the St. Mary's River in Great Mills indicates that minor flooding is occurring. Minor flooding begins at 6.0 feet. At 6 feet, Flat Iron Road begins to flood with water in some yards in Great Mills. Some locations that will experience flooding include Great Mills, please visit http slash www.weather, governor slash safety flood for safety information. Turn around. Don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. The National Weather Service in Jackson has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Clay County in northeastern Mississippi, Lowndes County in northeastern Mississippi, until 5 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 4.09 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Bend Oak, or 12 miles southwest of Columbus, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and penny-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near Bend Oak around 4.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Columbus around 4.25 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Waverly around 4.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Columbus Air Force Base around 4.35 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Steens around 4.40 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Colola Springs around 4.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Caledonia around 4.50 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by the severe thunderstorm include Artesia, for your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The National 
National Weather Service in Peachtree City has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Telfire County in Central Georgia, West Central Wheeler County in Central Georgia, until 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 5.27 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Workmore, or 10 miles south of McRae, moving north at 20 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include McRae, Helena, Milan, Scotland, Workmore, and Little Acknology State Park. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. If you see wind damage, hail or flooding, wait until the storm has passed, and then call the National Weather Service toll-free at 1-866-7634-466 or tweet us your report at NWS Atlanta. The National Weather Service in San Angelo has issued a flash flood warning for Northeastern Tom Green County in West Central Texas until 7.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 4.29 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the world area. Between 1 and 2 inches of rain have fallen. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, life-threatening flash flooding. Thunderstorms producing flash flooding. Source, radar. Impact, life-threatening flash flooding of creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include, San Angelo, O.C., Fisher Reservoir, San Angelo State Park, Lake Nasworthy, Goodfellow Air Force Base, Twin Buttes Reservoir, Grape Creek, Harriet, Well and Carlsbad. This includes the following low water crossings, College Hills and Millbrook, Southwest Boulevard and Loop 306, Howard and Webster, Jackson from Nickabunker to South Bryant, Parkwood and Lindenwood, 1500 block of Spalding, Fall Ross and Red Arroyo Crossing, Huntington and Sunset, Huntington and Sunset and 300 block of North Archer. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. severe thunderstorm warning for Crisp County, Dooley County, and Sumter County, effective until 6.01 p.m. Southeastern Andrews County in western Texas until 5.15 p.m. Central Time. At 4.34 p.m. Central Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Andrews, moving east at 20 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado and tennis ball size hail. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Andrews around 4.45 p.m. Central Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Andrews County Airport. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, Move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. The National Weather Service in Charleston has issued a severe thunderstorm. 
warning for portions of Evans County in southeastern Georgia, Bullock County in southeastern Georgia, Chandler County in southeastern Georgia, until 6.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 5.37 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Nevels to near Claxton, moving northwest at 15 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles an hour wind gusts and penny-sized hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to trees and power lines. Locations impacted include Statesboro, Matter, Brooklyn, Hagen, Portal, Glasgow, Register, Nevels, Align, Georgia Southern, Hope You Like It, and Denmark. This warning includes Interstate 16 between mile markers 99 and 126. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Report damage directly to the Charleston National Weather Service at 888-383-2024 when it is safe to do so. The National Weather Service in San Angelo has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Western Schleicher County in West Central Texas, Southwestern Tom Green County in West Central Texas, East Central Crockett County in West Central Texas, until 5.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 4.38 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 14 miles northeast Arizona, moving northeast at 35 miles an hour. Hazard, 2-inch hail and 60 miles an hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near El Dorado around 5.20 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by the severe thunderstorm include the intersection of Ranch Road 1828 and Ranch Road 915, US 190 near the Crockett-Sutton County line and the intersection of US 190 and Ranch Road 1828. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service in San Angelo has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for South Central Schleicher County in West Central Texas, Southeastern Crockett County in West Central Texas, Northwestern Sutton County in West Central Texas, until 5.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 4.44 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 14 miles southeast of Arizona, moving east at 25 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles an hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near Sonora around 5.25 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by the severe thunderstorm include US-277 near the Sutton-Schleicher County line, I-10 near the Crockett-Sutton County line and the intersection of I-10 and Ranch Road 1989. This includes Interstate 10 between mile markers 376 and 409. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. East at 10 miles. This is a test of the NOAA weather radio warning alarm device and the emergency alert system. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers are automatically activated to warn of the impending severe weather and or hazards in south-central Indiana and north-central Kentucky. 
tests of these receivers are normally conducted every Tuesday between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. local time and every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon local time. When there is a threat of or existing severe weather in the area, the test is postponed until the next available non-severe or hazard day. This broadcast originates from the National Weather Service office in Louisville on a frequency of 162.475 MHz. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. To provide the most consistent warning service possible, the warning alarm will be activated for watches and warnings affecting the following counties. In South Central Indiana, Clark, Floyd, Harrison, Jefferson, Scott, and Washington. In North Central Kentucky, Bullitt, Henry, Jefferson, Nelson, Oldham, Shelby, Spencer, Trimble. This concludes the test of the NOAA weather radio warning alarm and the emergency alert system. We now return you to regular programming. This is a test of the NOAA weather radio warning alarm device and the emergency alert system. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers are automatically activated to warn of the impending severe weather and or hazards in north central Kentucky. Tests of these receivers are normally conducted every Tuesday between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. local time and every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon local time. When there is a threat of or existing severe weather in the area, the test is postponed until the next available non-severe or hazard day. This broadcast originates from the National Weather Service office in Louisville, from a transmitter in Frankfurt on a frequency of 162.5 MHz. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. To provide the most consistent warning service possible, the warning alarm will be activated for watches and warnings affecting the following counties. In North Central Kentucky, Anderson, Franklin, Henry, Owen, Scott, Shelby, and Woodford. This concludes the test of the NOAA weather radio warning alarm and the emergency alert system. We now return you to regular programming. This is a test of the NOAA weather radio warning alarm device and the emergency alert system. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers are automatically activated to warn of the impending severe weather and or hazards in East Central Kentucky. Tests of these receivers are normally conducted every Tuesday between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. local time and every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon local time. When there is a threat of or existing severe weather in the area, the test is postponed until the next available non-severe or hazard day. This broadcast originates from the National Weather Service office in Louisville from a transmitter in Lexington on a frequency of 162.4 MHz with a rebroadcast through a transmitter in Madison County on a frequency of 162.525 MHz. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. To provide the most consistent warning service possible, the warning alarm will be activated for watches and warnings affecting the following counties. In East Central Kentucky, Anderson, Bourbon, Boyle, Clark, Fayette, Garrard, Harrison, Jessamine, Madison, Mercer, Montgomery, Nicholas, Scott, and Woodford. This concludes the test of the NOAA weather radio warning alarm and the emergency alert system. We now return you to regular programming. He's at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Edible, Broken Bow, Hanworth, Garvin, Eagle Town, Holly Creek, Cerro Gordo, Glover, Goodwater, Oak Hill, Chenoul, and Golden. Service in San Angelo has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for West Central Coleman County in West Central Texas, 
southeastern Reynolds County in west central Texas, northern Concho County in west central Texas, until 6.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 5.24 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Paint Rock, moving northeast at 30 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles an hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near Ivy Reservoir near Concho Park Marina around 5.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Leaving around 5.50 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by the severe thunderstorm include the intersection of Ranch Road 1929 and Ranch Road 2134, the intersection of US 83 and Ranch Road 765, US 83 near the Concho Runnels County line, the intersection of US 83 and Ranch Road 1929 and the intersection of Ranch Road 380 and Ranch Road 381. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The National Weather Service in San Angelo has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Coleman County in West Central Texas, Northeastern Concho County in West Central Texas, until 6.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 5.46 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Lee Bay, moving northeast at 25 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles an hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near Voss around 5.55 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Valera around 6.05 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Coleman and Santa Ana around 6.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by the severe thunderstorm include Mazelle, Shields and Fisk. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service in Fort Worth has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Mills County in Central Texas until 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 5.49 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Camp Lee or near Brownwood, moving east at 35 miles an hour. This is a destructive storm for women in northern Mills County. Hazard, baseball size hail and 60 miles an hour wind gusts. Source. Radar indicated. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be severely injured. Expect shattered windows, extensive damage to roofs, siding, and vehicles. This severe thunderstorm will be near, mulling around 6.25 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Prepare immediately for large hail. Seek shelter now inside a sturdy structure and stay away from windows. Severe thunderstorm watch number 268 remains in effect until 10 p.m. and now includes the following counties in Texas, Dickens and King. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information.
National Weather Service in San Angelo has issued a flash flood warning for Brown County in West Central Texas, Southern Coleman County in West Central Texas, East Central Concho County in West Central Texas, Northwestern McCullough County in West Central Texas, until 9.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.06 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Between 2 and 3 inches of rain have fallen. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, life-threatening flash flooding. Thunderstorms producing flash flooding. Source, radar. Impact, life-threatening flash flooding of creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Brownwood, Coleman, Early, Santa Ana, Bangs, Blanket, Trickham, Brooke Smith, Lake Brownwood, Lake Brownwood near Thrifty, Grosvenor, Rockwood, Camp Bowie, Gold Busk, Lake Brownwood State Park, Birds, Waldrop, Valera, Voss and Stacy. This includes the following low water crossings, Gifford at Beaver, Austin Street at Avenue G, Cordell at Anderson, Good Shepherd at 11th, Willis at Belmed, Indian Creek at 9th, Magnolia at Belmed, Bell Plain at Romans, 4th Street at Wood and Austin Street at Avenue J. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Service in San Angelo has issued a flash flood warning for southwestern Brown County in West Central Texas, southeastern Concho County in West Central Texas, McCullough County in West Central Texas, until 9.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.28 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 3 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, life-threatening flash flooding. Thunderstorms producing flash flooding. Source, radar. Impact, life-threatening flash flooding of creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Brady, Melvin, Lawn, Brady Lake, Rochelle, Hare Valley, Placid, Salt Gap, Mercury, Winchell, Fife, Milburn NS-190 near the McCullough and Saba County line. This includes the following low water crossings, South Blackburn between Adkins and 13th, White Street at Live Oak Creek, Hallam Draw, South High between 14th and 15th Streets, Farm to Market 1028 Crossing Cohen Creek, 17th Street between Pine and College, Farm to Market 1121 Crossing Onion Creek, County Road 120 Crossing East Cow Creek, Crossings along County Road 142 and crossings along County Road 138. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Move to higher ground now. Act quickly to protect your life. Be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads. In early terrain there are hundreds of low water crossings which are potentially dangerous in heavy rain. Do not attempt to cross... Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. 
Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. This severe thunderstorm will be near Water Valley around 7.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by the severe thunderstorm include S87 near the Coke Tom Green County line. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Prepare immediately for large hail and damaging winds. People outside should move immediately to shelter inside a strong building. Stay away from windows. Large hail and damaging winds and continuous cloud-to-ground lightning is occurring with this storm. Move indoors immediately. Lightning is one of nature's leading killers. Remember, if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning.
hazard. Ping-pong ball size hail and 60 miles an hour wind gusts. Source. Radar indicated. Impact. People and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Priggy and Pottsville. The storm has a history of producing large hail. Seek shelter now inside a sturdy structure and stay away from windows.
the National Weather Service in San Angelo has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Sterling County in West Central Texas, Central Tom Green County in West Central Texas, Eastern Erion County in West Central Texas, until 8 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.16 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 11 miles northwest of Arden, moving southeast at 45 miles an hour. Hazard, 2-inch hail and 70 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. This severe thunderstorm will be near, Arden around 7.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. San Angelo State Park, O.C. Fisher Reservoir and Tankersley around 7.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Lake Nassworthy and Twin Buttes Reservoir around 7.50 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Goodfellow Air Force Base around 7.55 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by the severe thunderstorm include S-87 near the Coke Tom Green County Line and the 67 near the Erie and Tom Green County Line. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Prepare immediately for large hail and damaging winds. People outside should move immediately to shelter inside a strong building. Stay away from windows. Large hail and damaging winds and continuous cloud-to-ground lightning is occurring with this storm. Move indoors immediately. Lightning is one of nature's leading killers. Remember, if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. The National Weather Service in San Angelo has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Santa County in West Central Texas until 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.28 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near San Saba, moving east at 25 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles an hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will remain over nearly rural areas of central San Santa County, including the following locations, Harkerville. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building.
This is a dangerous storm, capable of producing large hail driven by severe winds. Seek shelter now inside a sturdy structure and stay away from windows. If you are caught outdoors, cover your head and neck. Torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. National Weather Service in Fort Worth has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southern Hamilton County in central Texas, Correo County in central Texas, northeastern Lampas as County in central Texas, east central Mills County in central Texas, until 8.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.47 p.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Hamilton to near Eventa 17 miles east of Gold Point, moving east at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. The gust front will be near Gatesville around 8.20 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Fort Gates around 8.25 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by these severe thunderstorms include South Mountain. For your protection get inside a sturdy structure and stay away from windows. The National Weather Service in San Angelo has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Eastern Tom Green County in West Central Texas. West Central Concho County in West Central Texas, Eastern Erin County in West Central Texas, until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.59 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Lake Nasworthy, moving southeast at 40 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles an hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near Goodfellow Air Force Base around 8.05 p.m. Central Daylight Time. While around 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Then court around 8.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by the severe thunderstorm include the intersection of Ranch Road 380 and Ranch Road 381. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The National Weather Service in San Angelo has issued a flash flood warning for East Central Tom Green County in West Central Texas until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 8.07 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Additional rainfall amounts up to 2 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, life-threatening flash flooding. Thunderstorms producing flash flooding. Source, radar. Impact, life-threatening flash flooding of creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include San Angelo and Goodfellow Air Force Base. This includes the following low water crossings, College Hills and Millbrook, Southwest Boulevard and Loop 306, Howard and Webster, Jackson from Knickerbocker to South Bryant, Parkwood and Lindenwood. 1500 block of Spalding, Soul Ross at Red Arroyo Crossing, Huntington and Sunset, Huntington and Sunset and 300 block of North Archer. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 270, effective until 3 a.m. Central Daylight Time Wednesday. This watch includes the following county, Webb, Texas. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, 
including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Weather Service in Corpus Christi has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for West Central Webb County in South Central Texas until 10.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 9.24 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 15 miles northwest of Columbia Bridge, or 34 miles northwest of Laredo, moving southeast at 30 miles per hour. Hazard, golf ball size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts source, radar indicated. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include, Laredo, Ranchos Panitas West, Orville, Columbia Bridge and Doctors Hospital of Laredo. This includes Interstate 35 between mile markers 6 and 12. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Large hail and damaging winds and continuous cloud to ground lightning is occurring with this storm. Move indoors immediately. Lightning is one of nature's leading killers. Remember, if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Service in Memphis has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Craighead County in eastern Arkansas, western Poinsett County in eastern Arkansas, northwestern Cross County in eastern Arkansas, until 9.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 8.39 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Hickory Ridge, or 13 miles northwest of Wynn, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and nickel-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include, Jonesboro, Harrisburg, Weiner, Cash, Hickory Ridge, Waldenburg, Greenfield, Fisher, Hedrick, Wiley Crossing, Kittinger, Supply, Tilton, Brushy Lake, Risher, Gilkerson, Outwell, Cary, Hammond and Dryden. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 9.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties, in Arkansas, Craighead, Cross and Poinsett. Weather Service in Memphis has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Greene County in eastern Arkansas, central Craighead County in eastern Arkansas, north central Poinsett County in eastern Arkansas, until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 9.14 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Greenfield, or 8 miles southwest of Jonesboro, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and penny-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. 
Locations impacted include Jonesboro, Paragould, Bonnell, Bay, Brooklyn, Crowley's Ridge State Park, Lake Frearson State Park, Cash, Walcott, Fontaine, Greenfield, Hergit, Apt, Valley View, Shug, Gunpoint, Freville, Dorothy, Winesburg and Light. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties, in Arkansas, Craighead, Green and Poinsett. Locally heavy rainfall possible. National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 271, effective until 3 a.m. Central Daylight Time Wednesday. This watch includes the following counties, in Texas, Bell, Falls, Limestone, Milam and Robertson. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch, means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in, and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Service in Austin, San Antonio has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for East Central Kerr County, Blanco County, Gillespie County, Northern Kendall County, until 10.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 9.46 p.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Doss to 6 miles east of Pivotale to 8 miles southwest of Kerr Wildlife Management Area, moving east at 55 miles per hour. These are destructive storms for Fredericksburg, Stonewall, Lukenbach, and Johnson City. Hazard, 80 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be heavily damaged. Expect considerable damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles. Extensive tree damage and power outages are likely. Locations impacted include Kerrville, Fredericksburg, Comfort, Blanco, Round Mountain, Johnson City, Stonewall, Candelia, Blowout, Tividale, Kerrville Shriner Park, Rocky Hill, Sisterdale, Rocky Creek, High, Cypress Mill, Blumenthal, Center Point, Pernalis Falls State Park and Waring. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Large hail, damaging winds, and continuous cloud to ground lightning are occurring with these storms. Move indoors immediately. Lightning is one of nature's leading killers. Remember, if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Torrential rainfall is occurring with these storms, and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. The National Weather Service in Corpus Christi has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Webb County in south-central Texas until 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 10.01 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Rancho's Panitas West, or 8 miles northwest of Laredo, moving southeast at 30 miles per hour. Hazard, tennis ball-size hail and 70 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, 
siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Locations impacted include Laredo, Rio Bravo, El Cenizo, Texas A&M, Laredo International Airport, Unitec Industrial Park, Ranchos Panitas West, United South High School, St. Augustine High School South Laredo, Doctors Hospital of Laredo, Laredo Country Club, Laredo Community College, Orville, Bottoms and Ranquitos Las Lomas. This includes the following highways, Interstate 35 between mile markers 1 and 18, U.S. Highway 59 between mile markers 812 and 824, U.S. Highway 83 between mile markers 718 and 734. Prepare immediately for large hail and damaging winds. People outside should move immediately to shelter inside a strong building. Stay away from windows. Large hail and damaging winds and continuous cloud to ground lightning is occurring with this storm. Move indoors immediately. Lightning is one of nature's leading killers. Remember, if you can hear thunder, Mississippi to Stake Island out 20 nautical miles. 